so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and andrej karpathi the og ai scientist has yet again dropped another bomb of a term called as context engineering in one of his tweets previously he mentioned vibe coding and that becomes the internet's buzzword and i think something similar will happen with context engineering as well i have already covered it in quite some detail in my previous video you can check that out but today in this short tutorial i am trying to explain you the difference between vibe coding and context engineering so starting off first of all what is vibe coding it is an intuitive approach to llm prompting you prompt the llm something you get an output eventually you build on that it's a trial and error based experimentation it is guided by gut you feel it's right you do it there is no planning no system approach nothing is there while talking about context engineering it is more systematic it's not completely driven by vibe that i am feeling good let's prompt it's not like that it's proper planning you are intentionally constructing the model's mental world so what do i mean by that is before you start prompting the model you are providing it with the necessary information you are building its context ki okay for example if you want it to write a blog previously you are providing it with i am so and so writer i write in this domain i want it to be friendly in tone i don't want to use jargons etc because what will happen is by putting if you just prompt it write me a blog it will write a blog but not according to you then eventually in upcoming prompts you would be improving that blog this will consume time while in case of context engineering you are before starting the prompting you are already providing it some context so that you reduce the time it is more structured in approach and structured knowledge and memory management you can take it as a on the fly memory management i would say and methodical design for reliable performance vibe coding may or may not give you results context engineering will give you results the purpose of vibe coding it's mostly to explore possibilities nothing else to play an experiment to prototype quickly you are, don't know anything about a language you are just vibe coding you are asking it to draw something like this it doesn't draw it you again ask it and it's completely based on gut and it is more towards exploration side of the things exploration and play while context engineering is more towards reliable products you want to get a good answer actually you ensure predictable performance once you start providing it context the possibility of vague answers gets reduced it is used for reliable products building and to work for every user it can be taken as an advancement of vibe coding to be honest a sort of new vibe coding but with more context and more directional i would say relationship between vibe coding and context engineering they are not different from each other vibe coding is the sandbox where ideas are born through exploration experimentation while context engineering is the blueprint where ideas become structured so vibe coding if you don't know anything about a certain topic can be your first step and then you can use whatever output you get to do context engineering context engineering often evolves from vibe coding you mess around until you figure out what works and then you systemize it completely makes sense so if i give you a example whenever i used to write previously uh, i used to give out prompts and eventually now i have understood there are certain mistakes that chat gpt do so i have created a basic prompt for myself which helps like a context engineering for me i provide that prompt initially and then lesser errors are coming poor vibe coding wasted efforts what happens when you are not good with it you waste a lot of time my friends i think you all have wasted that prompts once work then breaks randomly build something that feels right but is not stable i think this is very important and good for art projects and all but not good for raising fundings or building startups for very very frankly poor context engineering unreliable models i think this is very important model forgets key information mid conversations 
so there are certain points like if you're going iterative prompting you said that okay don't use bullet points for example after 10 prompts it might start using bullet points right results are inconsistent bloated memory windows you caused hallucinations and feels robotic apart from that you can see this particular graph which makes quite some sense if you are going with poor context engineering more memory usage more hallucination response time is any day more and user satisfaction would be less you would be very frustrated how context engineering enhances vibe coding i think this is very important from chaos to systematic turn fun prompts hacks into scalable solutions prompt jenga you are prompting out a chunk of prompts and you get the better context feed examples summaries memories one of magic reusable magic so wipe coding out of 10 prompts one might work you once you figure out that one prompt that becomes your context engineering flooded window optimized context so every llm has a limited memory right uh, when you're prompting it using wipe coding eventually you're not providing you're not using its memory efficiently but in case of context engineering you're using it efficiently by reducing trash so conclusion who wins i think these are a little unrelated also or intermingled as well what you say when to use wipe coding exploring possibilities creating prototypes making creative projects when to use context engineering building for production serving real users and needing reliability when you actually have some context vibe coding gets you started context engineering gets you shipped that's the app line i hope you try both the approaches let me know in the comments how you feel about it and see you soon thank you so much